Illuminating Boston Chinatown's history, culture, and resiliency, a new exhibit tells the story of the history of Chinese immigration to the United States and about the inequities faced by Asian Americans. Artist Yu Wen Wu joins me now to talk about her public art that is now on display on the Greenway right at the entrance to Boston's Chinatown. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Good to be here. So Boston's Chinatown has a very deep and rich history. Explain uh, why you chose to use lanterns as the vehicle to tell the community story. Well, um, I was born in, tai in Taiwan. I came to the United States at a very early age. And, I, and lanterns was really a part of my, um, my heritage, my culture. It's such a wonderful um, representation and sim symbolism for um, lighting up one's life lighting the way. And so I felt um, with the uh, commissioning from the Greenway Conservancy to create a light-based project, I felt that lanterns was the right thing to put into this um, park. They're actually very beautiful. So, but tell me why you chose to focus on the history of immigration in Boston. Why that story? Yes. Well, this um, project started in 19, uh, 2019. And then when 2020 came about, um, there was the advent of COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. Mm -hmm. It was um, Black Lives Matter came to be. And then all the Asian, uh, the Asian, Asian, Asian American. Asian. Asian. Yes, sure. mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. And I felt that at that time, then this is the perfect opportunity to discuss all the different issues that for one um, are not taught in schools. Mm -hmm maybe not even discuss openly in communities, mm -hmm. and also uh, even amongst families. And so by having these issues lit, then perhaps uh, it will begin conversations. So um, as we approach this installation and we look at the lanterns, what are we, what are we gonna see? What should I notice when I'm um, up under these lanterns? Well, I hope when you walk towards this park, you'll uh, see that it's a magical space. You'll see things lit up in a wonderful way. You'll see uh, different um, kinds of lanterns in this particular area. But as you get closer, mm -hmm. I hope it provokes you mm -hmm. to look really closely at, um, at each of the lanterns because each of them have stories, either by um, the national conversation and by the community, the Chinatown residents, mm -hmm. and they've contributed many um, histories here. Tell us um, some of the stories that we'll be able to discern on the lanterns. Okay, well they range from um, the beginning of when a Chinese immigration started. So with the advent of uh, the gold rush, we talk about the um, we talk about the railroad. But we also talk about um, the, the, the building of the railroad. The building, in the transcon, the yes, the transcontinental mm -hmm. railroad, and um, about how many of the Chinese, after the transcontinental railroad, then began to settle here, due to the um, the strike at the Samson shoe factory out in low, uh, out in North Adams, mm -hmm. and so. Um, this begins the conversation about the Chinese coming here to start building an enclave called Chinatown. Mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, so many of the lanterns um, uh, will talk about, you know, the culture of the arts, mm -hmm. um, the calligraphy, about the dedication to um, education, entrepreneurship, and and then the civil rights mm -hmm. and the. Um, the Asian Americans have been really active for quite a long time. One of the uh, lanterns also shows um, the, the, in the 1890s, in 1882, it talks about the Ex Chinese Exclusion Act. For those that don't know what the Chinese Exclusion Act is, tell us very quickly what it's all about. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it was one of the first acts that excluded a specific um, group uh, population, particularly mm -hmm. just the Chinese. Because the government thought too many Chinese people were coming to That's the country. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and those that were already living in San Francisco at the time really felt quite threatened. Mm -hmm. And so this was this push to exclude uh, a particular entry of an immigrant population. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that was repealed in 1943. And then eventually also um, in 1965, the Immigration and National 
Nationality Act was mm -hmm. signed, mm -hmm. which allowed many more immigrants to come into the country. Mm -hmm. This work um, that we see here um, mm -hmm. and this exhibit, an update from the series you did in 2020. Yes. Tell us some of the differences between what we saw then and what we see now. Okay. Well, in, in this year, 2022, um, you know, I'm very grateful for the uh, um, reinstallation by the Greenway Conservancy uh, of this uh, updated iteration. And this Lantern Stories will be shown as well in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And it will focus on San Francisco history. But what's interesting in an opportunity and a platform here is to have this bi-coastal dialogue and in which um, both San Francisco artists have been invited, Boston artists have been invited, they've been putting on the same lantern. Tell us the reaction that you've received from Boston Chinatown and also from San Francisco. What's been the reaction from the community? Well, I haven't, the, the San Francisco, um, lanterns go up next week. Mm -hmm. However, the community has been very excited by all of this. And to have to say that this is a bi-coastal, that it's a national conversation about the uh, incidents that's been going on currently with the um, AAPI hate situation mm -hmm. and all the different uh, anti-Asian sentiments. I mean, you know, from March 2020 to March 2022, 11,000 400 cases have been reported and you know how many more have not been reported mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I think these are discussions that really need to continue to be discussed to come forward create civic dialogue in both cities mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. to continue this dialogue about uh, what it means to be Asian in it um, in America today such an important story shared in a beautiful way thank you thank you thank you um, you win Wu I can't wait to see it. Thank you. All right. The new uh, iteration of Lantern Stories is on the Greenway. It's on display now through November 18th. Stitching together history, the stories told through a centuries-old tradition. Holocraft is continuing today. <laughs>